Hey everyone, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to NASA Hosted. I hope you guys are doing well given the circumstances. I know it's getting kind of crazy out there right now, but today I'm going to be taking a look at how to install Portainer on your Synology NAS. This has been asked and requested from me for quite some time. I did an article on uh, nashosted.com and I haven't posted over there in a while. There's been a lot going on. I've been setting up a new studio down here in the basement and it's comfortable. It's, it's nice. I'm going to be probably working on some lighting arrangements and trying to get things situated down here, but it's nice, it's comfortable for now, so let's get started installing Portainer on Synology. Okay, so right off the bat I'm going to say we already know that Synology has a built-in Docker UI and has a Docker interface and it is very user-friendly and it's very nice, uh, but there are a few things that it doesn't allow us to do and that is Docker Compose, it doesn't allow us to use stacks uh, with Docker Compose, it doesn't let us edit any of those files and mo most importantly, we can't use templates. So with Portainer, we can use templates and we can install one-click applications, which is gonna make, you guys are gonna love this. It's gonna be great. In a future video, I'll show you how to do that. And uh, we're gonna get started. It has a beautiful web UI. You can access this anywhere on your network or if you expose it, not really recommended, but if you do, highly recommend using a reverse proxy uh, behind a secure SSL. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to DSM on our Synology NAS and we're going to make sure SSH is enabled and you can do that by going to control panel and then terminal and SNMP, click that and make sure this is enabled. I like to use port 22 because it's default and then I, some people use PuTTY to SSH. I like to use just regular Windows command. It's just, it's easy for me to use. I prefer to use Linux, but I'm on my Windows machine because this is what I use for editing videos. So you can SSH, username at the IP. I know my keyboard is really loud. It's one of those mechanical, it's a cheap one from Amazon, but it works for me. So type in the password. Now we just have to make sure we root in by typing sudo space su space dash. And sometimes this lags behind for me because it's on Exponology and then hit enter, type in your password once again, and now we are root. By the way, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but this is assuming that you already have Docker installed. So I'm assuming that you already have Docker installed, uh, which you can do on your Synology NAS by going into the application center and installing it, or the package center rather. But this next part, we're going to create a folder. We're gonna open up our file station and within the Docker, since Docker, when you install it, it creates this uh, shared folder here. We're gonna create one within Docker and we're just gonna call it Portainer, all lowercase. Click OK. And now we're going to be onto the next part, but make sure you pay attention. So the next part is very important. Uh, we just created this folder here. You can see by going to the properties where the location is, and that's gonna be where you put this volume in the command that we're gonna run to install Portainer. So let me make this more clear. I'm gonna to go to my website and show you the snippet. And I'll put all these links to in the description below how you can get here and get this. And you can just click copy. And as long as this is right, volume one, Docker Portainer, all you have to do is just copy this and run it in your command, like so. Hit enter and it will pull it down and install it. And there it is. Now all we have to do is go to port 9000 on our Synology. IP 9000. Here we are. We have to create a password. Let me retype that. Then hit create user. All right, and for this part, we're going to be doing a local Docker environment. So we'll change that and then hit connect. And we're in just like that. So we already have nine containers. It's reading the containers that are on your Synology NAS. So you can see all the Home Assistant containers I have here. So if I take this, if I go back to my Synology on port 5000, I can show you that. Oops, one more zero. And we'll load that up here. And I go into Docker. You'll see all of these containers that you see that you just saw on Portainer. So that way you know that it's working. And let me just say I have a really cool surprise coming up for you guys next that I think you're really gonna like. Uh, this is in the next video that's coming up. I'm gonna show you how you can install a template by using external templates. And we have over 100 applications that you can one-click deploy. 
haven't quite figured out the Synology side of it yet uh, for automatically adding in folders. So I'm still working on that. So I will have to show you how to manually change the folder directories, but it's pretty simple to do. And I'll go over that, all that in the next video. So that's going to be it though for today's video. And that's how you install Portainer on Synology. Pretty easy, huh? You couldn't ask for anything much easier than that. And uh, I will leave, like I said, all of the links in the description below and the articles there at nashosted.com. Appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any ideas for me, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll uh, see if I can make a video for you on it. Thanks a lot. See you guys soon.